Yeah. Like I said, you guys can talk. You don't want to be quiet. The rub. Everyone, Joanne's here today. We are in shirts, shirts. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, basically, just outside of San Antonio, Texas. Incredibly hot and sunny day. It's like over 100 degrees out, guys. But I'm not complaining. I'm used to the cold, but it's really hot right now. Today we're outside zip liners, guys. Zip liners to do the biggest, the biggest, 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 biggest barbecue sandwich I've ever seen in my life. This is the biggest barbecue sandwich in Texas. Maybe the biggest barbecue sandwich challenge ever, guys. This is a 10 plus pound barbecue sandwich called the Ultimate Brisket Sandwich Challenge. Specifically, it's a brisket challenge. Uh, for this challenge, we have 60 minutes to complete a $100 value brisket sandwich, which is still a very good deal. It has over eight pounds of brisket on it. There's pickles, there are jalapenos that are fried or roasted. Um, then we have this big bread. Don't know what kind it is, I'll get you those details, but that's all I know. We'll head on in, I'll get you the rest of it. And uh, let's go, it's fun, let's eat the food. Let's go. Hi everyone, so here we are with the ultimate brisket sandwich. Guys, this is actually insane. It's so big. Like, it, they, they had to compress this brick of brisket on here. It's absolutely insane. Like I said, this is giant. So we have eight plus pounds of brisket. It was a whole brisket and a half. We have the about a pound and a half ciabatta bun made in house. We have the roasted jalapenos, we have the pickles, then there's a whole bunch of sauce. They have their house-made sauce, also got the rest of the bottle. Described as a sweet and spicy. Uh, then we have all their brisket juice on here. They also throw in a barbecue juice. There's lots of stuff here. This is one of their staple items, an item which made them very, very, very famous. Although I believe it's not normally on a ciabatta bun that is for the challenge. Um, so like we said guys, 60 minutes, it is a 100-ish dollar price tag, should we fail, but I'm excited, I love brisket, Central Texas is the place for barbecue, and this is just an absolute jam, I'm definitely excited, uh, it is smoked with a hickory and a mesquite mix. So with that, let's get started here, just momentarily. I have Mr. Bentley over here, he's going to be our official timer for the day, and a full house here, so thanks everybody for coming out, I really appreciate it. Very warm day here in Texas, and it's very warm for me to be saying that. I love the heat, so let's definitely uh, hope that AC is cranked up because I'm gonna get in the meat sweats here momentarily. Also, I see Dominic, the owner. Shout out Mr. Dominic for creating this insane thing. Uh, that being said, uh, I am going to probably take this top bun off. Can I take the bun off before I start? All right, so let me carefully pull this out. This is a like I said, a very delicately and well-constructed sandwich. There is a lot of effort and compression into making this literal brick a brisket. That is for sure. I think this is what dreams are made of. Let me, uh, I'm just gonna put this right here for now because I don't want to tip that over. Five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Pickles. All right. I'm just gonna take some time. Mm. I already got some brisket juices on here. Mm. Oh yeah. Shot. Woo! Shot of that brisket. Mm. Oh yeah. Nice and sweet. Maybe I'll save some pickles. All right. Dive in this delicious looking brisket. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, yeah. Got it. Mm. Moist and juicy. I wasn't sure how it was going to be because it's in chunks, like a little thicker. You normally get used to seeing slices, but this. Mmm. Amazing. So tender. Mmm. Um, with that brisket juice, which is like the drippings and stuff they put on it. Mm. 
Definitely get that richness. A lot of richness. I'm just gonna undo my belt now. We're going to need the extra horsepower. I'll put it that way. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are here taking on the ultimate brisket sandwich challenge. And really, this is deserving of the name. This is such a large item and just the sheer amount of meat, the sheer amount of brisket on this thing was just crazy. As you can see, we've basically not even made a dent in this thing yet, so more to come. Texas style barbecue brisket is one of my favorite foods ever, so I was really looking forward to this challenge. Not only again is it to my preference, but man this thing looked and smelled good. Extra juicy with all the added juices back in, that's for sure though. Like I said, you guys don't want to be quiet. You can, you can <laughs> so like we said, we had 60 minutes to get the about 100-ish dollar sandwich for free, which honestly is a very good deal. I mean, there is a whole, apparently over a whole brisket. Um, on this thing, and I definitely believe it because it was eight pounds cooked weight, not pre cooked. I don't think I've ever shoveled handfuls of brisket into my mouth like this. This is not a normal activity. Go show how much you have. Then you had the bread, and yeah, it was just a big sandwich. Although I've pretty much told you my favorite food, or at least one of my top favorite foods being barbecue brisket. Let me know down below your favorite food. I always love to read the comments, and uh, I do get to know a lot of you through, you know, the regular commenting you guys do. So I really appreciate you commenting, and like I said, look forward to seeing what your favorite food is. So Zipliners here is not a barbecue restaurant, but they are like a southern restaurant, or like American cuisine, I guess you could say. All kinds of really nice looking items on the menu, you know, being like catfish, fried chicken, uh, of course being brisket sandwiches, one of the items they're very well known for and hence they modeled the giant challenge after. Uh, one thing I will say though is so they, they, this is you know central Texas very traditional um, barbecue in this area is salt pepper heavy smoke. This is a little different. Um, they definitely had a bit more in the rub it was not just salt pepper um, but it was very good tasting. It kind of reminded me probably more of something like you'd see on like a rib, like a rib rub. And then it still had a pretty good smoke on it, um, you know, pretty heavy. Uh, so, you know, it, and I think like to a lot of palates, this was just very pleasant. And that's what it was, it was very pleasant on the palate. The way they cooked it was just, like I said, the juices, the drippings they added back into there was just, oh, so moist and crazy. Like I said, all the juices on here, there's a little sauce already on the biscuit. So, it definitely it's like a really combo of flavors. It's not just a simple salt and pepper on brisket, but really, really nice spices. I'll maybe save that sauce for a little later. This is fantastic for now. Just a lot of, a lot of food. Food. Texas size. Especially this. <laughs> But besides that, that's pretty much the majority of the info. Um, like I said, just outside of San Antonio, Texas. I really like this area. I like all of Texas in general. Um, but definitely some good food in Texas. So let's tune on in, see if we can complete this challenge. See if we can get that big, big, big challenge win, that meal for free, and be the first to beat this unconquered breakfast sandwich. And I, like I said, I really do think this this is the bar biggest barbecue sandwich I've ever seen, challenge or not. So, at that, guys, let's tune on in and ultimately let's see what happens. Brisket, it definitely was really well insulated in here. I think I might get some ice in my drinks, something I don't normally do, but cooling off. Could you have me that cup of ice? Can I have a moment? Maybe uh, seven and a half minutes in, roughly. What are we at, Seven forty. Seven forty. Woo! Excuse me. I don't know how far we are in the brisket, but I've been shoveling this stuff. It's incredibly moist, incredibly, incredibly, incredibly juicy. Rich though, with all the juices out of back in. We'll keep on trucking. Mm. 
A lot of risk here, buddy. Whew. This is coming from somebody who loves it. But there is a lot of brisket here. I gotta say though, definitely really enjoy it. It'd be uh, like, get a normal size one, not a one. No one needs to eat the one this big, you know what I'm saying? Just listen to me. Do as I say, not as I do. take some of this bread and I'm gonna try making like maybe a bit of a brisket sandwich kind of thing because I was good at that because we have like still a whack of meat but we do have a nice whack of bread as well I'm gonna try to make like a they brisket made, bread taco thing they made the bread here right yeah well, let's so see what this is all about, everybody. It's not bad. There's like a, uh, almost like a cornmeal aspect to it. Hey, thanks for coming. I appreciate you guys. A bit of a, almost like sour note to the bread. It's very nice. It really does cut the uh, the richness of the the brisket though. I put a bit of sauce on it. That is very unique. That is not what I expected to taste like. I don't think how I can describe that. I think there's pineapple or something in it. There's some kind of fruity aspect. Not bad. A little bit of heat, a lot of sweet. I don't think I've ever had a barbecue sauce like that before. I mean, it's a, kind of like a really kind of tropical flavor to it. All right, we are maybe mm, 13 and a half, just over 13 and a half, I think, in. So we'll about 14 minutes in. A lot of brisket. But we're still making way. Have you broken any world records? I have. Keep this going on. After a little bit, just keep going. I'm full just watching. It works. <laughs> Excuse me, comes to the chef. Dominic, I met him today actually, so. Thanks, Dominic. There you go, I called my name today. Okay, I think I'm just gonna power through this brisket, then leave the bread. Doing the sandwiches is just making it slower. And we're good to go. Oh guys, oh, a bit of 18 minutes in. It's good, but man, it is rich. I mean, eating eight pounds of brisket. Most people buy like a pound of brisket and share it with a family. Holy crap, it's a lot of food, a lot of food. But it's delicious, but it's a lot of food, so. Uh, let's keep on trucking, see if we can get this thing done. Well, three quarters of the way through. That is true. 
I want to see you eat the whole thing. <laughs> well, I will be. I will be having those. Twenty minutes in, everybody. Ish. Mm -hmm. mm. Exactly. Very delicious. I definitely have some pressure brewing in my bottom end. I'll tell you that much. So, <laughs> hopefully, that doesn't grow anymore, or we'll be clenching real hard. But, guys, I'm still really enjoying this. It's delicious. John is here now. I gave you a shot a minute ago. Much appreciated. Very, very nice. You guys don't want to hear what I said. <laughs> Kid, kids ignore what I said. My cousin and I were actually talking about it on the way here. It's like, I wonder if you have to take a picture of the food. Sometimes. <laughs> Another thing about this bottom bread is it's going to be moist. It is soaked in brisket juices. Ugh. Brisket juices. Let me know your favorite barbecue meat down below. Mine actually is brisket. I still don't recommend eating eight pounds of anything, though. We have an eating contest of a, how old is she? She's four. A four year old seeing if I should eat a chicken strip over here. <laughs> Remember, say as I do, say what I, do what I say, not what I do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't encourage the unnecessary, speedily, speedy, whatever consumption of food. Are you high on brisket? <laughs> um, is that a thing? <laughs> I wouldn't suggest the field price. We can start it today, yeah. <laughs> Sir, have you been eating brisket? <laughs> Eight pounds. <laughs> wow, okay, talk about juicy. You guys see that shine, that glisten? That is juice. I could probably ring this out. Let's see. Can I... Ooh. That looks good. That is, uh, remember I said that was going to definitely be a moist bottom bun? And it's what he said. Um, you know what, I mean, I appreciate the gesture, but <laughs> I think I'll just kind of leave it there for now. But it will be moist, that's for sure. Ooh. Yeah, that is, uh, that was a moist. I told you it was juicy. Now you guys believe me. That's the good stuff. It's all those added, uh, added and re-added juices in the cooking. Twenty by thirty. And the brisket and chill. guys second brisket bun this one is even juicier I don't think I've ever wrung out a bun like this before Ooh. there is a uh, this is a uh, calorie free <laughs> As you can tell, low fat. Oh, yeah. And she, my cousin, is a doctor in Texas here. So if anything happens, I mean, I do know a doctor. All right. Holy crap. 
That is a juicy bun. And people ask why I wear gloves from time. You never know when they come in handy. No pun intended. I got oil dripping down my arm. That's nuts. Almost done. Fix this off and uh, what are we coming on, what, 30 minutes? 29.46 by the looks of that. Grilled jalapenos. Woo! Oh. We're getting it done. Right. Maybe I'll try with some sauce on it. Sweeten up the spicy. Okay. Are they fried or grilled? Uh, yeah. Okay, fried jalapenos. Correction. What's with the sauce? <laughs> Pretty spicy albedo. The hotter the weather, the hotter the pepper. Mm. Well, it's really hot. That's really it, to be honest. There's like three seconds of a crumb here. I'll eat this just to be that whatever, leave no doubt. Look at that, everybody. Great job. We are finished. Woo! Good burps. Not good burps. Like burping after you drink the pepper. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, woo. yeah, that was a bad spicy burp. I inhaled that one kind of. Was, oh, woo, okay. Okay. Woo. Jalapenos. What was that, my friend? There you go, guys. 31 minutes, 50 seconds, the official time. Thank you, Mr. Bentley. Guys, that was a very, very large challenge. Definitely the biggest barbecue sandwich I have ever tried. The biggest barbecue sandwich I have ever seen. It was very, very delicious. I really enjoyed the brisket. Uh, great flavor on it. It was like not like a, just like I said, it's not just like a salt, pepper, heavy smoke, like a lot of the traditional kind of brisket in this area. There definitely is some more spices, some more seasonings on it. Incredibly moist though, and uh, yeah, I got no complaints. Really tender, super, super well done. I was again, they definitely just like doing it in the chunks, a little uh, distinctively different, but it was very, very nice. I did enjoy it. So, that huge thanks over here at Zip Liners. Uh, great people, very, very friendly, good food. Uh, they do offer again this in a normal size, which I would recommend trying, guys. The challenge, it's it's big. I don't recommend doing challenges, but if you do want to, you can do it. I think you need about 48 hours notice or so. The more the merrier. We do got to smoke a brisket, etc. They do that in house, which is super, super cool. But uh, that everybody, huge thanks everybody came on out, guys. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Thank you. So that you get the meal for free, and uh, that's about that, guys. So, shorts. Did you pronounce the name? Shirts. Shirts. That's why I asked. Shirts, Texas guys, really nice people. Cool little spot here just outside of San Antonio. So yeah, guys, zip liners. Be sure to check them by. They just celebrated their one year anniversary today, actually. And uh, that everyone, of course, until next time, say happy out hungry, happy eating. Have a day.
And guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.